The following video will demonstrate how to void a check or multiple checks in Sage HRMS. First, we will void one check. In HRMS, the actual words used to define a void check is reverse transactions. I will use that terminology throughout the rest of the video. Once you are logged on to Sage HRMS, you can go and select Payroll, and from the Tasks, you can scroll down to Processes, select Reverse Transactions. Now we will select the bank code for the bank that corresponds to the company that we are currently working in. We will click on the magnifying glass, select the bank, and as you can see, the bank account number automatically populates from the bank setup. Under the source application, we will change from bank services to U.S. payroll, and the reverse document field automatically populates with the word payments. The little click box for reverse multiple transactions, we will review that in a few minutes. So for this particular void or reverse transaction of a check, we will say that the employee lost the original check. The reversal date can either be the date of the check when it was originally done, or it can be any other date after that that corresponds to a payroll that you're currently in that you want the taxes to be combined with. In this particular case, we will say 1015 is the reversal date. Underneath the employee number, we will do the magnifying glass to find an employee. Use the criteria last name contains, and we will put in Bell. We will click on our employee and select. Next will be the check payment number. We will once again click on the magnifying glass and she has three particular checks in her list. So we are going to say the 926 check is the one that she had lost. We will click on that particular check and select it and the payment amount for that check automatically populates as well as the payment date, the original date the check was written. At this time, we have all the information that we need to process the reverse transaction. We will now click on post. It has processed and then delivers a message that says reverse transaction completed successfully. We will now close out of that message and close out of the reverse transaction completely. Next, we will demonstrate the voiding or the reversing the transactions for multiple checks. Once again, we choose on payroll, scroll down to processes, click on reverse transactions. Now we can just next, our bank is chosen, bank account number populates, change bank services to US payroll, and now we will click on the reverse multiple transactions box. We now get multiple criteria that we can choose from anywhere from the check payment number from the beginning check number to the ending check number. We can do a particular payment date. We can also select the payment amount and we can also select from one particular employee through another employee. Now the most common is usually during a payroll process or one that is done in air. We will have to do from one paycheck to another, but we can also use the payment date. In this particular case, I know there was a payroll done on 1010. And as we click on the second one, it automatically populates with the same date. So any check that was done on 10-10-2014, we will now see as being a possible reversing transaction. Next, we come down to the double arrow, click on it. And as you can see, it populates the table below. It now shows the reverse, which at this time, none would be reversed. It shows us the check numbers in reversing order, and it also shows us the check date of 1010. And we can scroll up and down or side to side just to confirm we're doing exactly what we want. In this particular case, we will do them all. So we can do a select all. As you can see now, the reverse field goes to yes. It gives the reversal date as our current date and the rest of the information that goes along with it. At this particular time, we can post it. Then our message pops up and our reverse transactions are completed successfully. Now what we can do is we can close out and we will just confirm that that has taken place. Under employee or the last name, we will type in Bell. There's Veronica Bell. 
and we will select her and underneath employee activity underneath the checks tab we can now see that the 926 check has been reversed and we can also see that the 1010 check was also reversed the 926 was the one we did just for her and the 1010 one is the one that was done when we did the group of people so let's look at one more person and as you can see his 1010 check has also been reversed so I hope you find that this demonstration has been helpful thank you